it's T with T Quilts, and today is Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020, and we are doing a live chat tonight, answering any questions that you may have about quilting, and also I am going to be doing some math. We had some questions last, what was that, Saturday or was it last week? I can't remember which live chat we were in, but people were having some difficulty uh, with math and trying to figure out when was something really a good deal and when was it just a basic deal so we will talk about that tonight so i'm going to just wait for people to get into the room and then we'll get started let's see oh i gotta do the mega monday <laughs> Just pulling this up on my phone here. Okay, so we're just waiting for a few more people to get in. I think we're up to, I see 25 so far. <laughs> just give people a minute. I thought I was going to come in three minutes early, and then I forgot that I hadn't pulled the Mega Monday poll statistics. <laughs> okay, so I just waited a few more seconds for people to get in. I'm going to go ahead and start reading the uh, comments. We've got Yogi Castillo says, hi, beautiful lady. I don't know if these people are still here because that was at 635. Um, Quilt Gal was here, says, hi, T and everyone. Gorgeous day in Maryland. Vivian Cavi is here saying, hi, T and everyone. Tiffany's Quilting Life, she says, I'll just keep this open. Hi, T and hello, friends. <laughs> Maddie Barnum says, hi, T and everyone. I've been kind of out of it much but much better. Glad you're feeling better, Maddie. Maria Mayer says, hi everyone. Drying out after two days of heavy rain in Houston. Wow, that's the rain's good, but that's too much rain when it's hurricane related, but goodness. Elaine Doucette's here says, good evening all. Hello, T. Hello, Elaine. Uh, Ellie Scrapper is here, says, hi T and everyone. And Cheryl Klutz also here. She says, uh, hello, T and everyone. Let's see. Linda Price is here saying hello to everyone. Little Lady D is here saying hello, T, with a wave. Hi. How are you? Mary is here saying howdy. I'm here. Just till the pizza comes. That's right. <laughs> Kim Burris is here. She says, hi, T and T Quilters. It's been a great day in the neighborhood. Yes. Awesome. Liz Ryan is here saying hello to everyone. Mario Dennis is here, says, uh, hello from Montreal, Canada. Hello and welcome back. Uh, let's see. Lisa Peggs here, says, hello, T and everyone. It's been a beautiful day in Indiana. Michael Piccarelli is here. He says, hey, pretty girl, we are doing better, not 100%, but doing good. Thanks again for the incredible potato soup. Love you, my friend. You are so welcome, Mike, and I'm glad you both are feeling well. Feeling a lot better. Let's see. Judy Hansen is here saying hi, T. <laughs> and uh, Peggy O'Connor is here. Hey, Peggy, welcome back. She says hi, T and T Quilters. Uh, Judy Judy is here saying hi, T and T Quilters. Melinda C. is here, says, hello, T and all. Let's see, Jackie K. is here, says, hello, T and all. Just relaxing with a cup of tea to join my quilty friends. Regina Connor is here, saying, hello, T and all. Hi, Regina. And Lietta Bryan is here. She says, hi, T and T quilters. Hi, Lietta. Janet Mackerel saying, hello or hi to everyone. Uh, Katie Kaufman or Korfman. Is here says um, hi T and everyone finally made it to a live. Well, welcome. <laughs> Hit the notification bell after you subscribe to my channel. It'll let you know when I'm live. 
But basically, we're live on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and also Saturday evenings at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. We got Dorsey Savelli here, says, hello, everyone from Minnesota. Hi, Dorsey. Welcome. Judy Jacob is here, and she says, hi to everyone. Hi, Judy. Welcome to the channel. I don't remember your name. Uh, Angela Stringer says, just finished a bowl of oven-baked cabbage. Yummy and good evening, my cool tea friends. Now, I just bought a cabbage today. I'm going to have to look that up. <laughs> um, see how they make it. She just says, I finished a bowl. So, I'm wondering, I don't know if it's soup or not, Angela. <laughs> uh, Mario is reminding people to hit the thumbs up. Tiffany is, she's back. I saw she was saying hi to people. But she's saying, hello, everyone. Joining, don't forget to your thumbs up. So, thank you so much. And Jackie is talking to Mario. Said, I did some frog sewing today also. Tried the Cleopatra's fan box. Seems in, seems out, seems back in. Now, I've got the something. <laughs> but we'll come back to finish all uh, got the hang of it okay so that's pretty cool i haven't started the cleopatra block yet i decided i was going to do a, a string something string quilt first to get uh away from all those pineapple pieces so i needed something simple to do so i will be uploading some photos i haven't done any videotaping for the actual process so that it's not inside of a chat but i did uh, talk about in the chat on Saturday night where I was making string blocks that they are going to be eight and a half inches and I think I need 25 if you don't want to go back and watch that because it's a two hour live I can understand that so let's talk about the results of the mega Monday poll and I'm going to talk about Facebook side first uh, the question for both Facebook and YouTube was uh, forwarded by Leela Dyker and she says, what do you listen to while sewing? And she had some suggestions, and I add some more, just knowing some of the things that are more popular right now. But we had um, 225 responses on Facebook, so very good um, support from people on the poll, which is a good number to do a poll with, 225 people. So, 76 people said that they watch television, which is 34%. Um, YouTube and music was actually tied, which I found to be really, really amazing. Uh, people that were 49 people, which was 22%. 24 people, which is 11%, said that they listen to audiobooks. 6%, which is 14 people, said that they did podcasts. 10 people said they watch movies, which was 4%. And 3 people, which is 1%, said that they uh, don't listen to anything. They actually sew in silence. So I found that to be really amazing. Um, basically, TV, YouTube, and music, if you combine the top three. Because that would be 76% of the people right there in those three categories. Now, for YouTube, they don't give me numbers. They just give me percent. So, I really don't know how many people actually voted in the polls. But I had to also combine categories and leave a few out. I think I left one out because YouTube doesn't allow you to have more than five choices in a poll. So, 33% of the people on YouTube listen to music whereas 31 percent does youtube and podcast so i had to combine those two categories and then 16 percent watch television and 12 percent did audiobooks seven percent watch movies and one percent said that they did it in silence so uh interesting poll it's kind of kind of like it was last time where the YouTube stats are always different than the actual Facebook stats. It's pretty interesting. So, um, let me make sure we got, if we got new people in before we start going into math and talking about why we're talking about quilters math and how much stuff costs. <laughs> um, 
let's see. I think Jackie was the last comment I read. Doris O was here. Good evening, TNT Quilters. I got my favorite sewing machine back from the doctor today. I feel like doing a break dance. You got that right. Um, and Mary's saying that she loves cabbage. Angela says, I ain't messing with Cleo, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany says, I made the 10th little handbag today. I have gone back crazy. That's pretty cool. I saw the videos. And Mary is laughing at Tiff. Uh, Lacanti Middleton says, good evening. Welcome. Quilting for the Soul, Sarah's here. She says, hello to you and everyone. I hope you all are having a blessed evening. Welcome. Darcy says, I did a lot of frog sewing. I was making a log cabin quilt that had 36 blocks, and I sewed block number three on all of them backwards. <laughs> uh, I think I would have just started a new block, maybe. <laughs> I know, but on that, it's probably a little bit more complicated because I have a, how you have to cut the pieces if you did it with the AccuQuilt guy. I don't know how you cut them. Sin says, hello, friend. Hello, T and friends. Hi, Sin Forrest. June Billing says, hi, T and everyone. Good to be here. Leela says, hello to everyone. My brother Ray is here. He says, hi, sis. Hi, everyone. You get my thumb. You got my thumbs up. Thank you so much, sir. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if anybody else has come in. Uh, somebody asked me, what is my preference when sewing? I tend to just watch television because I got little small TVs in every room. I have it on as a noise box. I can't tell you much of what's going on. I'm just um, sewing and then it just keeps me company. Um, if I don't have television, then it's actually music. Um, uh, Patricia Bryan is here. She says, hello, T and everyone. Is everyone... Still, or back to making masks. Thought I was done with masks, but the grants want need fall, Halloween, etc. So beginning quilting and piecing, between quilting and piecing, I'm making masks. I did have somebody ask me for a mask. They asked me for a mask actually pop over a week ago. And I do want to try my new mask dye, but they saw me with my regular rectangular mask. And they liked how it fit because the mask, the rectangular mask, actually fits me very well. I don't need any modifications after I do my pleats. And so they they had some that had been made rectangular, but they didn't quite fit on the sides to be snug. So they were wanting me to make some for them, but I have not done that yet. I will do that, but I actually want to use my studio die and cut the Olsen mask. So I haven't gotten there yet. So... No, I don't want to do any more masks, but I will be doing a few more. Uh, let's see. Sin says, I usually draw draft my own. Uh, Phyllis G is here, says, hi, Tian, everyone. Let's see. Tucker is here. Uh, Tucker Nance. Nace. Is it Nance or Nace? I'm blocking now. Nace, I think. He says, from Tucker Sewing and Quilting, says, hey, Tian, everyone. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> Lietta says, making a graduation quilt for my cousin who graduated with honors. Um, wow, we are flooded with moderators. We must have been bad laughing out loud. That's for Mary. That's funny. And Lacanti says, Kaylee. My five-year-old says, good evening. Hi, Kaylee. Welcome to Tea Quilts. <laughs> and Mary says, I'm tired of masks. I want to do something else. Got that right. I haven't done them in a while now, so I guess I could go back to doing some. Okay. The reason why we're talking about math, I know a lot of us are good with math, and then there are some people that math just throws them for a tizzy. And sometimes when shops or companies have sales, 
they know that a lot of people don't like math and don't want to do the work for math. And so they do make complicated type sales. So if you're not willing to do the math to figure out what's a deal and what isn't a deal or which is the best way to purchase something, then they use that to your disadvantage, to their advantage. Remember, even when a company is giving you sales, they're not doing this so that they can... They're trying to make the most money that they can make possible. If you don't figure it out, they're not going to care. Um, it's just how it is. So you've got to figure out what's a better deal for you based on other things that are going on, which could be um, they could be having more than one type of sale. And then you're honing in on one particular sale. And then you actually would have gotten a better discount going through the other sale. Sometimes the online make it a little bit easier because you can put things in your cart and then you can go to check out and see what the end result is. And other times you can't do that. So it just depends. It depends on if you're actually in a store or online. So whether I, I don't even put my stuff in the cart all the time. I'll put my stuff in the cart if I want to see how much something is going to cost me to ship. That's when I like to put everything in a cart because shipping sometimes will determine whether or not I'm going to purchase from a company. So, I think when we were talking about this, AccuQuilt was having a sale and they had that sale where you buy one die, you get your second die at 40% off. And so that's what brought this up. And people were asking me, because I normally will tell you when I feel like AccuQuilt has great sales. And somebody was saying that I didn't mention that AccuQuilt had buy one, get one. I said, because I don't feel like that's the best sale. And so I'm going to kind of explain why with just numbers per se. Um, first thing, we're going to use numbers that are easy for people that are not math uh lovers <laughs> so we're going to use the number 100 for our first die and then we're going to be using 50 dollars for our second die in one scenario so if i only need one die and accuquote is having a buy one get one free sale is it really a sale for me if i've got to buy a second die just to get 40 percent off the second die so that's the first question. So to me, I would say no. If you don't need another die and all you need is one $100 die, they most likely will ship that die sometimes at $100 depending on what sales they have going on. And so if you're buying a second die just to get 40% off the second die, then of course you're not getting a deal. So if you only need one die, buy just your one die. Okay, so don't go to get something just because they're going to give you 40% off the other die. Now, sometimes they'll have, and I'm going to come back to this one later, but they'll have you spend so much money and then we'll give you uh, a free die. Okay, so sometimes those can be great deals depending on the value of the free item that they're giving. If they're giving you a $30 value item, it may not be such a great deal. But when I got my Cleopatra die, I think that die was either $80 or $90 retail price. So then that was a great deal considering what else I purchased because I purchased items that you couldn't use a coupon for or get on sale because I bought the new dies. You can never get sales on new dies, and you can never get sales on items that are in their clearance, which was my mass dies, and that's what I bought. And then I got the Cleopatra one for free, and I had wanted the Cleopatra one. So in essence, I ended up getting like my mass die for free. That's how I kind of look at it. And, you know, as far as if I was doing a sale, I hardly ever um, will buy a regular studio die that's not in the clearance section because, the again, the clearance section is never in the 50% off. They normally have studio dies at 50% off often, a lot of times. So I can always buy studio dies at 50% off, except for when they're in the clearance section. And they do particular things on purpose, okay? So, uh, buy one die, get one die at 40% um, off. 
Now remember, AccuQuill on a daily basis will, or not a daily, but like very frequently, at least once a month, you can buy, buy, go buy uh, dyes, buy your Go dyes for 20% off. So keep that in mind, that 20% off, you can get often. Okay, so you can get 20% off often. So keep that in mind. And that's why sometimes I will never tell you when they have a deal that says buy one die, get your second die at 40% off. And that's because this sale runs a lot. This sale is what they do at shows. So when I go to uh, quilt shows, I never purchase AccuQuilt dies at a quilt show. Why? Because two reasons. I have to pay tax when I'm at a quilt show. Uh, and then number two, I have to tote that around. So if I'm getting 20% off, you offer the same thing online and you're going to ship it to me for free based on me. Because most times when we think something's on sale, we'll, we're ordering like two or three or four dies. We're ordering lots of stuff. So when you get to that point, you're going to get free shipping anyway. So I'm not going to pay tax, which can be very costly if you're paying tax. So I hardly ever buy at a quilt show. Okay, keep that in mind. So now I need a die. My die is going to cost, I'm trying to make it so you can see, $100. Okay, so I got that first die. They're running a sale for me to get my second die at 40% off. My second die, I'm just going to make up numbers so that they're even numbers, cost $50, okay? Now, if a company really wanted to give you a sale, which they normally do when they do 20% off all of your dies, this total is $150, and if I multiply this by 0.8, which I do backwards math. If you're telling me that something is 20% off, then I multiply by what I'm going to actually pay. I don't need to know what I'm getting off. I need to know what I'm going to pay. So I just do the reverse math. So instead of multiplying by 20%, I'm going to multiply by the 80% that I got to pay. Okay? So let me do that. So for those two dies, if I'm doing a buy one, no, if I'm going to get 20% off both of those dies, I would pay $120, okay? This is where playing with numbers come into effect. Over here, we're going to do that same calculation. We got a $100 die, okay? We got this $50 die. But instead of them giving us 20% off both of these, they're going to give us 40% off this $50 one. And so that means that I'm going to be minus $20 from my 50, which means that they're telling me that I can get a $50 die for $30. And it sounds, it's really great deal. So now instead of this being 50, it's actually going to be 30. And now it looks really good because Oh, it's only going to cost me $130, okay? This is where playing with numbers. If you look at this, you're paying $10 more for the same die over here at 20% off both dies. Over here, you're literally getting about 13, probably about 33%. So now, remember when I tell you that AccuQuilt normally runs 20% at least once a month? You have actually got less than 20% on a sale, thinking that you were getting a great bargain because they were giving you 40% off of one die. The only time that this makes sense where you'll be close to 20% is when you buy a die at $100.00 to make sure that your second die is also at $100. So let me erase this side over here. And we're gonna now make this $100. So 
So we had the first die at 100, and we're going to add another 100. So now 40% off of 100 means I'm going to pay $60 for that die. So now I'm paying $160. But remember, I've now got two dies that are valued at $100. Okay? So that's two dies valued at $100. So I'm going to pay $160 instead of $130. So yes, I'm paying $30 more. But on this scenario over here, you actually have a total of 20% off. So your percent off is higher over here because you bought a, a die that was comparable in value to the first die that you purchased. I personally do not like buy one, get one at any percent off because I feel like if you want to just give me a sale, go ahead and make it so that when I buy one die or all my dies, I get the same percent off all of my dies. I don't like when they do the buy one, get one at some percent off. If you're going to buy one and give me one, that's a whole nother issue. But buy one, get one at 40% off isn't always a great deal. And I just want people to know that because people sometimes don't know the difference if you're not a math person. You're like, oh no, I don't want to do that. Now when you're getting stuff free, like when I got that Cleopatra die i couldn't get the other things on sale anyway i bought three dies that i could not get on sale so i was gonna have to buy them or wait like six to nine months for them to be out um before i could get them so i went ahead and chose to go ahead and buy them at regular price they were all gold dies the most i was going to get off was going to be like 20 percent anyway through a regular sale with accuquilt and so it was just more beneficial for me to do that. Now, I, uh, I have been told by quilt shops that AccuQuilt controls them putting things cheaper than what AccuQuilt would do, which is that 20%. So that would be about the most you're going to get on a die. Now, I have had people come in here when we were talking about this last week and said that they have great sales at Joann's on AccuQuilt dies. And I don't know how Joann's can get away with that. I guess because they're a big company, they can get away with it, but they will not let the quilt shops do that. And I'm just telling you what I know from people uh, locally that have told me that. So, um, <laughs> all things are not a sale. I just prefer you to give me, why do I have to buy one item just to get something on sale from you? Just let me get, if you really appreciate me and value me as a company, then just let me get a sale when I'm buying just my one item that I really, really need. And if I need the second item, I can get it as well with the same discount. So it doesn't take all the complicated math, but they do that to throw people off to make you think you're getting something. And then it makes you buy more than one item is what it's really doing. So just be careful and do your math beforehand when you're doing stuff like that. And this is not just AccuQuilt like I told you before. When I go to some websites, if somebody has it where you got the same price for, say you're buying five yards of fabric, and one website might give you free shipping on five yards of fabric because you spent $50. Whereas another website may say uh, your shipping is going to be $20. So you've got to decide if you want to do which one you want to get it from based on the shipping. So you can do that as well. But just be careful when you're uh, purchasing things where you think you're getting something at a percent off and you're really not getting it at 40% off. I showed you on that first order where what you really got was 13% off of your total sale. So it's really not a bargain. So let me go back and see who else has come in. If you got any questions, um, let me know. Susan T is here. She's saying, happy to be here. Hi, TNT Quilters. I'm not sure if I read it before. Graham says, picking my pineapple quilt apart. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> she emailed me. Um, guess it's still not going well. Oh, my gosh. Um, email me again. <laughs> uh, let me see what your problem is. Send me some pictures, maybe. Send me some pictures. 
June says she's not making masks, but I got one in the mail today from an insurance company. It's orange. That's pretty cool. Um, mm -mm. Um, Mary is still, it's still too hot. Tiffany is talking to Mary. Mary's gone, say so the pizza's here. <laughs> I think I saw when Rhonda came in. Celia Swain is here saying hello to you and everyone. <laughs> and Sam was asking, did I miss math class? I hope not. And Tiffany says, I suck at math. It's like my kryptonite. <laughs> and Sam loves it. See, she, me and her both was on it last week saying we love it. Yes, indeed. And I always do backwards math. I don't want to know what somebody is giving me off. I want to know what I'm going to pay for it. So I always, if it's 40% off, I'm multiplying by 60% because I want to know uh, what the 60% that I got to pay. So that's how I kind of do my math. I do it backwards instead of, if you multiply by the sale price of being 20% off, you then got to do the subtraction. I'm skipping a step by just reversing it and doing exactly what I'm going to pay. So. <laughs> Sam is really crazy. She said, but I read math books for fun and relaxation. <laughs> I wouldn't say all of that, but I do like math. <laughs> Teresa McCormick is here. She's saying good evening from Wisconsin. Ellie says, I'm a little distracted due to the mass singer is on, so I'm trying to listen to UT and watch the show at the very same time. <laughs> um, and Sin says, buy one, get one is a marketing come on usually. Yes, it is, because um, um, even sometimes when you're getting one, you got to see if they mark the price up on you or not, you know, you got to do some extra checking. I love, I love the buy one, get one, but those buy one, get one half off, those make me mad. That's from, uh, I don't know, G car EQ. Um, Patricia says Joanne's is one of the worst about cheating sales. You can't use coupons on sale items, so it's not a real sale. Exactly, because some of their um, sales, they'll put stuff, almost everything in the store on sale when they give you a 60% off of anything that's not on sale. But then you're walking around the store trying to find something that's not on sale that you actually need, you know, and it's very complicated sometimes or difficult to find something that you actually need and not just buying stuff just to be buying it, just to get it at 60% off. Um, Carla says, good, Carla Ford's here saying, good evening from Los Angeles, T and fellow quilters. Welcome, Carla. Cheryl Bean is here, says, hello, T and everyone. Welcome as well. Darcy says, everything is always overpriced. That is why they can always have stuff on sale at Joann's. And you are absolutely correct, because the way that they mass produce, it's hard when you're a small business but big companies, um, they mass produce a whole lot differently than somebody that's a small company. And they're basically paying pennies for items and then charging us substantially for them. Small companies, they don't make enough uh, items at a time. So they don't get like what giant companies get as a discount. So they don't get that same type of discount, but you can get a discount. Vicky is saying how well it don't sound good for my hubby and I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. So her husband must be in the hospital still. So praying for you, Vicky, and your family, your husband. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was that bad. Lisa says, right there with you at Patricia. I only buy from Joanne's if I have no choice except their batting sales. Yeah, and that's where, you know, they overprice their batting, too. And then you can get it at half or 70% off, something like that. Because I only buy my batting from Joann's when they have a 70 75% off coupon. Because they've already overpriced it. 
And a lot of people are saying that they're praying, sending prayers for Vicky, for both of her and her husband. Oh, I hate those ones, too. Buy one, get one free. It's the ones I like. I can't stand the buy one, get one percent either. Elaine says, well, explain T. <laughs> Thank you, Elaine. Uh, a lot of people are sending you hugs, Vicky. So we're thinking about you and your husband and praying things turn on the positive. Always stay positive, Vicky. Tiffany's back, but she's eating. <laughs> uh, Eric Otis here. Um, uh, oh, that's Angie from Middleton, TC, uh, Tennessee. She says, hi, all. Should have said it first. No problem. Sometimes when I get new people in the chat and I've never seen the name before, I'm not sure if it's... Um, a troll so when it when you first just said hi I just skipped right over that one because I was waiting for the next comment but since you were on topic it was okay so thank you Angie <laughs> Ellie got knocked off and she's back Deborah Richards is here saying hello everyone I'm late but I'm here hi Deborah welcome um, Sewing with a Dream is here saying hello to everyone. Hello and welcome. Uh, Sin says, excellent explanation, T. You're a great teacher. Thanks. Uh, Angie says, T, I just wanted you to know that your dancing videos I've been using for the last two weeks. And I've lost three pounds. You are awesome on those. And thank you. You're so welcome. That's how I actually started YouTube was <laughs> I started YouTube for line dancing. And then as I was teaching quilting, I had been teaching quilting for the longest and I got, and I figured since I already had gotten the YouTube channel that I should just go ahead and start answering, making videos, answering those questions that people repetitively ask me, like what type of machines do you have? And I'm in front of a lecture trying to tick off, you know, make sure I named all the machines that I have. And, and really, in true essence, it doesn't matter which machine you have. You just got to learn how to utilize your machine. So I started making quilting videos. And I don't do too many line dancing videos. I'm not even line dancing as far as teaching right now anymore. Um, I barely even go to any events even before uh, this virus is out. So I because I wanted to dedicate since 2000 was it 18 or 19 I can't remember if it I think it was might have been 19 what year is this uh, two years so 2018 no 2017 was my last year because I I used my line dancing we had a big party every November the first week in November and it always interfered with me going to Houston so I went to Houston the last two years so it was the year before that that I quit so I quit at the beginning of 2018 because I did the last party in 2017 and then I kind of uh, retired sort of kind of from line dance and I'll do some on my own but I don't teach anybody anymore but thank you so much they are a great source of um, exercise and, I, and that's what I started it for because if you're a person that um, you don't need a whole lot of room to do line dancing for the most part sometimes you got to move a little bit but for the most part, you don't need a whole lot of room if you don't want to go out and walk in a mall or at the gym or your rec center, you know, line dancing, watching it off YouTube is great. So thank you. Uh, Cheryl says, I thought it was good until I gave, until I had to help my granddaughter. I don't know. I must have missed something. I'm sorry, Cheryl. I'm trying to figure out what I missed. Thank you, Jackie. She's reminding people to hit the thumbs up button. Sheila says, hi, T and uh, Quilters. The weather has cooled down here in Knoxville. Hi, Sheila. Welcome. Um, Stan says, reverse math. Love it. Great tip. Yes. <laughs> uh, Lisa says, whoa, whoa, whoa. T has dancing videos. <laughs> I even went, um, you know, when I used to go to, like, I have a couple videos where I have the quilters dancing. I have one group of quilters. I think they're dancing to the wobble, which is 
my cool gill here we were on retreat and i was doing it as a exercise to get people out of the chairs on the weekend retreat and then also i went to a quilt shop in illinois i'm blocking where did i go it's called moss got a notion quilt shop and it's in illinois and i'm blocking it's like close to jackson illinois but jacksonville but i can't remember what her town is and uh i did a lecture i stayed for overnight i came in we did lecture and then the next day we did a workshop well during the lecture we had a three-hour lecture that i was doing and I had them dance into September, Earth, Winds, and Fire, September. And that's also on YouTube. So if you want to see, <laughs> see me dancing and acting up, you can definitely search it on my YouTube channel. And like I said, anytime you're looking for something on my channel, when you're on YouTube, just type in T-Quilts and put in line dancing. It'll come up. It's pretty fun. Thank you, Sand. She just sent me $4.99. pretty cool let me go back okay because it took me down when she does that hold on let me go back because i always lose my spot when stuff pop up because they kind of want you to know that super chat is there sometimes i still miss it okay <laughs> um not intentional just sometimes it happens let me go back. Trying to find. I think I read Sin's comment last, but I can't see it. Hold on. Oh, that was Lisa Pegg's comment I read. Okay. <laughs> uh, Sin's also reminding people to hit the thumbs up button. Regina says, yes. Tell us all about the dance classes. <laughs> now, that's funny. <laughs> uh, but you can definitely search them on, uh, on my channel. Um, let's see. Thank you, Carla Ford. She just sent, I think, $10. Let me go down and check. $9.99. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. She's saying thank you. <laughs> And let's see what if Sands has. She says, thanks for the fun math class. <laughs> see, I didn't even know they had messages on them at first. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, fellow quilters. I got to go back and find my spot. Um, uh, Little Lady D says, have you explained the log cabin go die? I have it. And it seems confusing. I have that die, and I have not used that die. That is something that I do want to add, but I got to do the Cleopatra die. And then um, somebody asked me to do the snail trail. I think it was one of my Junes. I can't remember which one it was because I got, like, about four Junes <laughs> on my channel. But um, I think that one was the snails, not the snails trail. It was... Yeah, the snail's trail died, but I let my friend use it, so I don't even have it right now. And I just told her to take her time with it. But we are going to be working on the Cleopatra's fan die next. And so I can add the log cabin into the rotation for videos on that. Um, I'm one of those people that I would probably separate my fabrics by light and dark, and I would cut my logs that way. But I haven't looked at that die, so don't take my 100% uh, word for it. But if you're needing a question answer because you're stuck and trying to work on a die, just email me and I'll try to help you. I'll look at it and try to help you anyway, even though I haven't used it. But I do have the log cabin die. Kevin's here. Hey, Kevin. He says, hey, tea quilters she can cook she makes beautiful quilts she is really smart at math ladies and gentlemen a wonderful woman of scraps tea go away kevin <laughs> he is so funny he that means that kevin is feeling better okay <laughs> uh kim says i'm horrible at most math if i have trouble i have my son-in-law masters in engineering or my boyfriend three masters and two in math yes um 
A lot of people are saying hi to Kevin. We got Sandra Weston saying hi T and everyone. Hi Sandra, welcome. I got to go down past some of this stuff for Kevin. People are saying hope that he's feeling better and stuff like that. We love the good wishes and we love the prayers. Tiffany is saying hello to all who have just joined the live. Don't forget to give T a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And for any new people, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live. I have not been uploading videos because I've had so much going on in my life, been so busy. Uh, but I do have videos that I plan to upload. <laughs> so um, I got videos that have been recorded. I just haven't had time to edit them yet. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing, um, I got to go ahead and put the video out. I was trying to wait for the um, wood turner to make the toolkit that's for our sewing machines. I actually got to talk to him and told him what issues I was having with what he sent me previously. And I just don't think that that's going to be worked out in time for me to put it into the October order. Let's see. Uh, I'm thinking that I'm going to submit an order on probably like October 9th maybe and I'm going to close it off on October 7th which is the first Wednesday of the month. I always try to do it after I live in case people forgot and want to get added onto the order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to edit whatever that bad footage is that I had because uh, him and his wife didn't really want to be recorded but I was trying to just record the product so my I wasn't really looking at my phone I was using my phone because I didn't want to intimidate them with my camera so I'm going to just put up what I can and try to explain to you the products that he has for sale and then also try to hopefully put the current prices and do know that if you're watching this video like years later that these prices will not be the same okay <laughs> they're just the same in that video um but yeah so I will try to do that and get that up <laughs> and even Lisa said Kevin must be feeling better <laughs> and he says uh, better day by day but just say no to the Rona you got that right Cheryl says have you noticed jewelers always show a discount but they have marked up the piece 300%. Yes, a lot of places are marked have marked ups higher than that, you know. It's a lot of things that are marked up. Do they still add sales tax at checkout in the US? That threw me for a loop nasty. If you're in the same state as AccuQuilt, then they uh, charge you tax. And if you're not in the same state as AccuQuilt, they don't. Now, I have never paid in Missouri even though I can buy stuff locally. They don't charge me tax when I order online from AccuQuilt. Uh, Joann's, I think they do. I can't remember because I don't hardly ever order from Joann's online. So maybe you all can tell us in the comment section if Joann's charge for tax when you order online. I'm assuming that they do. Claudette Bettis is here saying hello to you and everyone. Hi, Claudette. Welcome. Robin Boyd says, I almost forgot about you being here. <laughs> I'm here every Wednesday. <laughs> um, Jen says, thanks for sharing with us, T. It makes more sense now. Sheila says, I bought my studio die at 50% off, and I thought that was the best time for me to buy. I did not have any dies. I am new to the system. Buying studio dies at 50% off is the best time to buy studio dies. That's the only time I normally buy studio dies, except if they're in a clearance like they put the mass dies, then you can't get those at 50% off. So they went straight from a new die, normally within six months to nine months, they'll let you go ahead and start getting the new dies on sale. But with the mass dies, what they did was they said, we're clearancing them. They gave them $20 off, and that was all that they were giving off on the mass die. So I was never going to get them. Well, I'm not going to say never, because if people don't buy them, then eventually they may give them to people at 50% off or clearance them at 50% off. But right now, they're only giving $20 off the uh, mass dies. You can't get them on any other sale. 
Uh, I'm be sewing, quilting, and crafting. Says hello to everyone. Welcome. <laughs> no name says I buy my batting from Marshalls by the boat or row. I'll be praying for Vicky and your husband. Yeah, I have been experimenting with some batting by Marshalls. Uh, Marshalls dry goods for people that don't know in Arkansas. I actually went there two years ago on my way back from Paducah and I bought a roll of 8020 and I pulled it out and have been kind of experimenting with it, putting it in my last few quilts. And I actually have to say it's a little bit thicker than Hobbs, has a little bit more body. I actually like it. It's a very nice batting. It's the hot uh it's a 8020 mix. It's I'm gonna say Hobbs, but it's not Hobbs batting. It is a 8020, it's a little bit thicker, and I actually like that. And I'm not a polyester lover, but I love the 8020 that Marshalls has. So this year I was planning on going back there to uh just shop because I like seeing stuff in person and shopping online but I haven't done that because of the virus being out and I just never did reschedule that back I was planning on going like in May of this year and uh, I just have to put that back on my agenda to make a trip to do that let's see uh oh I jumped again. Sorry about that, guys. I got to scroll back. Hold on. <laughs> I have, um, I can't figure out where I left off, guys. I'm looking for Marshalls. <laughs> Um, it jumped on me again. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to get it eventually, I guess. Okay, I must have passed it. Who asked me about tax? Let's see. I see no name. Not, okay, so I got it. It was Marshalls, not tax. Um, oh, did you all know that you can buy huge rolls of batting from Overstock.com? Um, she says one of Laura uh, mentioned it. I forget the name of her channel. So very easy, lady. She mentioned it on her channel. Yes, I did know that Overstock uh, sells batting. Sometimes it's cheaper and sometimes it's not. It just depends, so you've got to kind of pay attention. My um, screen keeps jumping down to the bottom, guys. <laughs> Soon as I found it, I need to do a timestamp. Sorry. Okay. The timestamp for that one was 7.35, so I don't have to go all the way back. Hi, Kimmy. She says, I'm new here. Welcome. <laughs> Rhonda says, that's why I had to learn to exercise controls. Coupons make you feel like you've got to buy. I'm taking advantage of the buy three, get two thread sale starting tomorrow because I need thread. Yes. And that's why I said basically you got to... Uh, shop when you know you need something and then go and get what you need that's on sale and then kind of ignore the other stuff especially if they're playing games with you as far as prices and what's on sale and what isn't on sale and what's available to be used with a coupon and what isn't available to be used with a coupon it makes a big difference so Beverly C. Balls here she says hello all it's been a while since I've been in hope all is well hi Beverly welcome back Eric says, we have some smart A <laughs> shop owners do a buy one, get one sale. You buy one and only get one. Most customers didn't realize it wasn't buy one, get one free. Yes, because they misread, you know, they, and then they have a lot of that in the fine uh, print, too. So, um, did it jump again? Yes, it did. I am so sick of this thing jumping. 
um, I was at 735. So I just got to find Eric's name. <laughs> Uh, Angie says, when I find someone new to watch, I always go back and start from the oldest and just start binge watching their old videos. I try very hard to get them all watched when I'm able. Now, that's pretty cool. I do that with some channels. Sometimes if they've been on for a long time, I might go back like three years and then I'll go forward from that three year period. And then I'll catch videos from the back parts here and there. But sewing videos are nice. I really like Laura's channel, so I did go back and watch a lot of her videos. Uh, Ellen Campbell is here. She says, hi, T, and all quilting friends. Hi, Ellen. Welcome. Um, so I don't know if Tucker's still here, but Tucker has a channel. Tiffany has a channel. Quilting for the Soul has a channel. Um, Kevin the Quilter has a channel, but it's about chickens. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he has a channel. Uh, Beverly, uh, ask Miss T make you some more so you can get another taste. She's talking about that uh, potato soup. I went and bought some scallion so I can make more soup. But I got to uh, either make chicken broth or buy chicken broth. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that so far. So we'll see. Um, my screen, for some reason, my screen keeps jumping, so I'm up and down, guys. Hold on. Nita Henderson is here. Terry T is saying hello to everyone. And Carla says, thank you, T. I just received my jelly roll today. Yippee. Prayers for Vicky and her hubby. I'm not ordering from AccuQuilt for a while, waiting for a real sale. And I'm kind of like, I got their, uh, I'm an affiliate, so I got their list of what all is going to be on sale this month. And I wasn't like really impressed. So I'm kind of trying to hold out and see what's going to happen in the month of November to see if anything fancy comes up. And what I've also been learning about AccuQuilt, even as an affiliate, I didn't get my affiliate sales for the month of September until the 10th of September. And they had already had like three or four sales by then. So they don't even send us the information out to even get the deals on it. So Susan, Susie Liam says thumbs up everybody. T is great. Thank you, Susie. Can we do a Zoom line dance? That's from Cheryl. Do you hear that, Eric? <laughs> Y'all are too funny. <laughs> Uh, Diane 57 must be in here. I see people talking to her. I may have missed it. So now let me go back. I'm trying to go back and get some of the stuff that I missed before. If I missed your comment, just know that my screen is jumping. And that's because I'm so far behind in the comments that they only allow so many to stay. They don't let you scroll all the way back through to the top or they don't let me scroll all the way back through to the top. So I'm having some issues with that. And Mario says, I just checked out Overstock, and indeed their prices are very good. Yeah, it just depends on where you're getting it and what type of sale. But I have ordered from Overstock as well. I also get most of my batteries from Overstock. You know, those specialty type batteries, not your basic batteries. I mostly get all of those from Overstock. They're a lot cheaper than going to um, Batteries Plus or whatever the name of the battery stores are. So I must, I'm missing a lot of comments, guys, so I'm so sorry. I'm just going to go down here to under color forwards. I'm going to start there because I can't remember where I left off, and it keeps jumping on me. Um, a lot of people are still sending prayers for Vicki and her family. Thank you all so much. Appreciate that. I'm sure Vicki is very appreciative. And, and Mar Diane's telling Kevin to give me back that die. Kevin doesn't have it. It's another friend that has it. 
<laughs> Kevin doesn't have our die. <laughs> I miss going to Joann's. I have to get my electric chair fixed. From what I'm hearing, Joann's don't have much in the stores anyway. So um, you're basically just buying or giving a choice to buy kind of whatever's left over. You're really not having a whole lot of choices. Now, I have not been. I have not been to Joann's, Michael's, or Tuesday morning. I usually go to Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning stores were empty. So I just stopped even trying to go there. Oh, little lady D sent me $9.99. Thank you so much. I didn't see it before. I'm sorry I missed it. Appreciate it. Really, I do. Thank you so much. Um, I kept thinking that since it was the other color, I thought it was the other one. I'm so sorry. Um, Mari says, I can't wait for Canada U.S. borders to reopen. I miss going to Joann's and say, Albans, Vermont. Deanna J says, T, thank you for sharing the math and the marketing strategy. Cool gal says, okay, Kevin, now is the time to get that pound cake recipe. <laughs> Y'all are too funny. <laughs> and Angie also saying, yes, thank you so much for the information. I would have never seen it that way with the math. And uh, Diane says both of her puppies are sewing buddies. Uh, Kevin saying, I truly think T's potato soup was the turning point making me feel better. It was wonderful. I know my husband was not too happy. I, I, I made the, a pot of soup. I kept half and gave Kevin half. Normally I take uh, half to my mom's house, so I didn't even tell her I made potato soup. My husband ate that soup so fast, ate the half. He was up here mad because I took some to Kevin <laughs> and Mike. He was not happy, okay? <laughs> I did buy, like I said, I bought ingredients to make more soup, but I got to buy, I either got to buy or make chicken broth. I don't have any chicken broth in my freezer left. Okay, so now I'm... um spooling on my phone y'all know how i work around here it just it completely kicks me out when it does that and i even rebooted my phone before i got on here so that's no excuse and it's 801 so only thing that i can do oh and i also had mentioned that i was in the process of trying to clean stuff up <laughs> and <laughs> you all notice the black thing is no longer here. I'm temporarily trying to see if I can leave it over here in the corner, which is where my rulers used to be. Now my rulers are right here temporarily. I'm trying to see if I like them on that side. It's already inconvenient for me to reach behind my sewing machine to get it. But this was too big. And then with me having to open the drawer, it would have taken too much space right by my sewing machine. So... I clean, this is one of the machines that I cleaned. That's basically what I did was I cleaned three sewing machines that I had no intentions of doing. And so then I just kind of threw this on top because with my embroidery unit on, I don't have a big enough cover to put on here. So that's probably something I need to make in the future. <sighs> because this machine was so dusty, it was it was ridiculous how much dust was in there. And I cleaned all of that up and out of there. I vacuumed all the little crevices trying to make sure I got everything out of there. So I don't want that to happen again. So I kind of just threw that on top. Um, I did go through stuff on the desk over here. This is projects that I'm currently working on right here that I'm sewing when I put my machine back up. And then over here I got the rulers now. Which they are closer to the cutting table back there though. So I've started clearing this off. I haven't gone through these containers and, and stuff up there yet. And then I got mending in here. It's one thing that I hate, and that is mending. But I got two pieces in here I need to mend. <laughs> and then the problem with mending when you are a quilter and you sew with neutral threads, it's like I have to wind a black bobbin and a blue bobbin, and I don't feel like doing it. So then the mending just kind of sits there. <laughs> It just don't work. Let me see if it'll let me back in yet. 
let me clear all of these notifications. I did not reboot because it's already after 8, but I do want to see if you all had um, other comments. So let me pull you all up closer. <laughs> Don't be shocked. So I can read the screen here. Hold on, I'm here. Just got my hand over the um, cord. So let me see how far I can go back and just read a few comments before we sign off. And uh, Angie is just saying that she has no affiliation with uh, Overstock. I understand that. And she's just sharing sale information on buying batting in bulk. And when you're buying that kind of stuff, you're buying a whole roll of batting. Um, my Joann's in Quakertown was fully stocked. That's from Susan. That's great. So they're starting to get shipments back in. Uh, but c Rack says Joann's has very limited supplies. Had to... Uh, to go when the shipment arrives and then it's gone oh okay so i didn't know that it was going that fast huh maybe a zoom karaoke karaoke game that's kev uh oh eric <laughs> they talking about line dancing online um so yeah we're gonna um <laughs> and Tiffany talking about Eric, it will be a Zoom fall on the floor dance for me. Ha ha ha. <laughs> that is funny. And then uh, Eric says, Zoom line dance. That will be the next game. Nobody's going to show up, Eric. We can't tell them when that's going to happen. Uh, Kim says, my crock pot potato soup has bacon in it, a full pound. It's yummy stuff. I put a half pound in mine, Kim. I don't put, put the full pound in there, but it sure is good with the bacon. And I have one friend that uh, doesn't eat pork, so whenever she comes over and I'm serving it, I have to take hers. You know, you put the bacon in it at the top, so she makes it very complicated. I have to cook everybody else's for like 15 minutes or so, and then just take hers out and then put the bacon in, so... Nisi Ma's here waving at everybody. At T Quilts from CN. I guess I missed something. Another super chat came up. Perhaps ch that changed the scrolling. My screen sometimes jumps. Okay. So I did see, um, I thought I saw the last super chat. And on this, I'm on my iPad and I can't see any super chats on the iPad, which is crazy. And I update all the time but it's not showing me any super chats on here so let's go down to the bottom and see um i think she was talking about little lady d's but it, she was just letting me know it had come through but on the ipad it doesn't even it's not showing me right now anyway and it could be because they're older right now but let me go down to the bottom and just read the last comments because we're going to be signing off. I'm not going to hold you all later. And when I'm up this close, I don't really know where to look. I know the camera is right there, but I don't know if I should be looking straight on or at the camera. But So, yeah. Tuesday morning is empty and the Joann's is not so bad. It has some holes on the shelf. Okay, thank you, Sin. She was just confirming that it was Little Lady D. Uh, Ellen is saying good night. A lot of people are starting to say good night. So we're just going to go ahead and end here so I'm not just dragging on. And um, hopefully I'll start be able to get some videos out. I've got to stop working in this room because, you know, when you start cleaning stuff or trying to rearrange stuff, I found about eight pieces of fabric that needed to be rolled onto bolts and put up. Um, stuff that shouldn't be in this room I had to take out and put somewhere else so it's a process I'm trying to clean out um, drawers because I know I still got my singer hoops in this room for my machine embroidery and I don't even embroider on that machine anymore so I need to remove those hoops 
So I still got a couple drawers I got to go through. So it's the stuff you can't see that I'm working on because I'm trying to make space to put some of the stuff that you can see, okay? <laughs> so that's kind of what's happening. Thank you, Lisa, for $4.99. Appreciate that. So um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. We're going to go ahead and end. If you're wanting to do a sewing chat, come back Saturday. I'm actually working on a string project that's pretty easy for all beginner level quilters. I'm going to be uh, just making string blocks, which is what this project is here. And then we're just going to be putting those blocks on point. So I'm going to be talking about uh, setting triangles and things like that. And I do hope to make some instructions that will be outside of the live chat so that you don't have to, if you're working on the project, you don't have to go through two hours of footage just to know what it is that you need to sew. Okay. So again, thumbs up everybody. Everybody stay blessed and stay safe and uh, continued prayers for Vicki Lemire's husband. And I will see you all on Saturday, guys. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>